Hello. And welcome to another A Gem in Orlando podcast with me, Gemma. And me, Matt. Uh, so you may have seen on our YouTube channel, if you haven't already subscribed, go and subscribe. Uh, please do subscribe because we only have like five subscribers. <laughs> we get more. We get I hope more. so, we yeah. I hope so, yeah. Uh, yeah, but dude, we've got our Fort Park vlog on there and tomorrow, which, well, actually, technically, because you'll be hearing this podcast on the Monday, it'll be today. Yes that we are going to Chessington World of Adventures. Are you looking forward to I it? I am looking forward to that. Good. Looking forward to looking at the animals. Yeah, the animals are amazing. They've got like a whole repertoire of everything. So uh, yeah, we will be filming our little adventure tomorrow and we're going to have a few of our friends there with their children. And See. we do have permission to film them, by the way. I've already asked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got something to celebrate, haven't we? Because we reached 100 downloads yes. this week. We reached 100 downloads. We didn't even think we were going to get 10 downloads. So we want to thank you all so much for supporting us on this journey. If you do want to support us further, you can go to our Patreon. You do get exclusives like shout outs at the end of the episode and some bonus content from us as well. So do make sure you do that if you want to support us further. But thank you for thank listening. Thank you so in. much. Thank you for downloading the podcast. You know, we we love doing the podcast anyway, but for us, it's just, just to know that it, we're helping other people yeah, and yeah. We're, even if we're just making you laugh because we're silly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, it's just it's just really nice. So thank you so much for your support. It, it really, it makes us want to make it, more content. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it does, doesn't it? Exactly. Uh, so yeah, um, subscribe to all our YouTube channel um, and subscribe to us with Facebook um, as well because we've got quite a few people on Facebook so hi Facebook um, yeah go and subscribe to our channel we've got some really good content coming up for you we've also got our trip to Alton Towers in May coming up yep. uh, we might be taking a short break um, on the 7th of May uh, the weekend of the 7th of May so we won't might not be releasing a podcast episode on the 10th of May uh, just because I've got to go and have a little operation and I might not have recovered fully yet but we may still do the podcast anyway um, so yeah, so uh, just our quick, our usual disclaimer, we are not experts on Orlando. <laughs> no, we are not. Uh, we are complete novices. Uh, join us on this journey because it has been a really fun journey, hasn't it? It's so been far. amazing so far. It, so far. And we've still got a year to go now. We've still got a year. Well, it's not quite a year yet. On the 20, uh, on Tuesday. It, no, not Tuesday. It will be on... Thursday, it Thursday will be, be for a year, in one a year. year until we go. Yeah, so uh, we hope you'll continue joining us on this journey. We want to make your content for you. Um, so yeah, here we go. And we are doing, what are we doing this week, Matthew? Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. This one for adults. Um, I think a lot of adults would probably turn around and go, well, what's the point in us doing Magic Kingdom? There's no like thrill rides. It's all just kids rides. Not true. I think there's more uh, adult rides in there. Not too. true. Not true. And I mean, you know what? Actually, I think even if you are on an adults only trip, I think making a visit to Magic Kingdom is an absolute must do because you can relive your childhood. Yeah. I, I just think even if you just go and relive your childhood, I think it's perfect for that so i think even if you are going on an adults, adults only trip like we are it's an absolute must do so yeah anyway we're going to get started and we're going to get started with the entrance so that's main street usa main street usa now this is when you first come into the park um, I don't know if you remember it. I don't remember you it. You don't no. remember it. Okay. Uh, well, you've actually got a couple of attractions there. Um, but if you are going in the near future, just bear in mind that the uh, main, the, the railroad. Yeah. So you, I don't know if you remember getting on the train. It takes you around to Fantasyland, takes you around to Adventureland. It's like a little, looks like a little steam train. Oh, okay. Um, it's kind of extra like transport really. But, um, you know, people love it. It's, it's a classic yeah. kind of attraction. But... At this moment in time, as we speak, it is closed for refurbishment. So you will have to get around the park some other way, i.e. walking. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, and you've also got, and I don't think they're doing these at the moment because of COVID, they've got horse-drawn carriages. So oh. you can have like a horse-drawn, I think you have to pay a little, I think you have to pay some extra money for what, it. Around the park or just around Main Street? No, just around Main Street, Street. USA. Oh, okay. yeah. That'd be quite nice. So I think that's really cute. I, I do believe they charge more for it. Um, but again, I, I do check this. If you are going in the near future, do check it before you go because we're not too sure at the moment what the situation is with COVID. I know that they've relaxed, I know that they've relaxed some rules about masks now. Um, you can take your masks off to have a photo. Yeah. 
Um, so that's been a new thing in the last couple of weeks. Um, but you do still need to wear your mask all around the park unless you are stationary. Yeah. Um, like I say, unless you're taking a photo or you're having something to eat or drink. Uh, dining options. You've got Tony's Town Square Restaurant, which is based on Lady and the Tramp. Okay. You know, beautiful, yeah. no, no, all that kind of I've stuff. I've seen the film. Yes. <laughs> um, so that's all your Italian stuff. Yeah. Um, and you've got the Main Street Bakery, uh, which is, I believe, is the Starbucks because they do have a Starbucks. Uh, they have a Starbucks everywhere, but I didn't actually know this. But the Main Street Bakery, I think, got converted into a Starbucks. So if you love a Starbucks, get your morning coffee from there. From there yeah. um, the Main <laughs> Street Confectionery, unfortunately, is closed for refurbishment, um, which is all like your little sweets. Yeah, and things. little treats. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, but it is close to refurbishment if you are going in the near future. So just bear that in mind. Uh, Shops wise, you've got box office gifts. You've got the Emporium. You've also got Harmony Barbershop. If you want to have your hair cut in Magic Kingdom, you can go and do this. Okay. You can. You can go and have your hair cut if you so desire. I imagine it costs an absolute fortune. But <laughs> you. Can, I mean, it is closed at the moment. Um, but yeah, you can go and have you can go and have your hair cut. Oh, okay. Um, you've got the Main Street Cinema Shop. You've got Uptown Jewelers, which of course is a jewelry shop. Yeah. Lots of Disney jewelry, Crystal Arts, and Disney Clothiers. Now, also, if you want a little shortcut, if you're going at a busy time, all of these shops down Main Street USA, down that little bit towards the castle, are all connected. So you could walk through the shops. Oh wow! As a little shortcut. So if you are going at a busy time and you don't want to go through all those crowds getting up to the castle. Go through shops. Is it something as well if, if, the, if the parade was on as well? You can dodge the people on, yes. the, on, the, on the sidewalk, yes. the parade, uh, so you yes. can walk through the shops. Yes. Um, I'm not sure about the COVID rules and stuff at the moment, whether they have that connection going, because obviously they are running at reduced capacity at the moment. I think they're running at 35% capacity at the moment, which is still... Quite for, a lot. for a Disney park, it's a lot. But yeah, they are running at 35% capacity at the moment, so you might not need... And obviously the parades aren't running at the moment, so... Yeah, things like that. But that is Main Street USA. We're going to move on to the most magical part of Magic Kingdom, Cinderella's Castle. <laughs> Cinderella's Castle. This is... I remember the first two times I went when I was a child. It was just... It, it gives you a feeling that you can't describe. Yeah. It, when you see it, when you first see it, it just gives you that... I don't know, it's just... It's, it's this weird feeling that only Disney can give you. Uh, it, it literally is. Um, and then when I went as a sort of late sort of adolescent, when I was 17, I got the same feeling. Then? Yeah, yeah. I got the same feeling as I did when I was a child. It was, just, it was just something so magical about seeing Cinderella's castle in the flesh. It... it <laughs> It, it blew me away. It Amazing. blows me. It blows me away every time. Every time. And obviously, um, a good tip that I've worked out. If you, I know a lot of a lot of people want to take photos in front of the castle, and also just bear in mind, a lot of people propose in front of the castle. So don't be disturbing anybody's proposal, <laughs> <laughs> like because that's like quite a magical thing. Uh, don't be disturbing anyone's proposal. The best way to get a good photo. I know. I know it's not going to be the same as having. The, the, the turrets and things in front of you behind you yeah but go around the side take a photo around the side not a lot of people do that and you know and you still get the full view of the castle in pine pretty much yeah okay. yeah yeah um dining wise you've got the uh plaza restaurant that's out the other side of the castle so you go through the castle and out the other side or you can go round the sides of it uh you've got the crystal palace and you inside the castle you have cinderella's royal table now this is a very hard one to get reservations at because it's princess dining um and i'm not but be, bear in mind if you are going in the near future and you have got a reservation don't expect to see all the princesses that you would normally and don't expect them to be coming up and taking photos with you and things like that because obviously they have to social distance so yeah, of course. just 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 bear that in mind when you're if you're going in the near future uh there is no shops but i have to mention something and it's not something that we can do as yeah, an adults on. only it's the bibbidi bobbidi boutique oh okay what's that then right if you've got a child if you've got a little girl she can go to this boutique and they dress her up and they do her hair and her makeup like a princess. Say, oh. It's really cute. And I wish they did it for adults, but they don't. Um, because you're not allowed to wear costume. Adults aren't allowed to wear costumes, costumes yeah. because you might get mistaken for a princess. I don't know if my, my, my lack of neck, how I would get mistaken for a princess. But yes. Um, but I thought it was really cute. 
Um, that is cute. It's really cute. Is cute. Like he, and it gives them their first little makeover and things like that. I think that's really cute. Um, so yeah, that's all for the uh, Cinderella's castle area. There's not much there, but obviously there's enough to do. Yeah, especially it's, for the kids it, as well. It, yeah, if you've got kids, yeah. I mean, I know we are doing adults only, but we do get questions about like things for kids and stuff so this is definitely if you've got children and you are taking the children on holiday with you this is definitely the episode for you because they will love magic kingdom yeah <laughs> so we're going to move on then and the, we're going to start off we're going to go in an anti-clockwise direction this time i know with epcot last week we went in a clockwise, clockwise direction yep. we're going anti-clockwise and we're going to start with tomorrowland tomorrowland now in tomorrowland you have got Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin. Okay. I have been on this. It's very fun. It's a little bit... Do you remember when I was talk, we were talking about Toy Story Mania in Disney Hollywood Studios where you like it's a game and you shoot things? Yep, yep. Yep. And you have to try and beat each other's score. I think if you're going on an adults only trip and you are competitive like we are, <laughs> we will be... <laughs> be doing that then. But I know a secret you don't. I know how to get hundreds of thousands of points because I've done my research. Oh, okay. <laughs> I bet they are researching. No, 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 you must not. There isn't no videos. There's no videos on YouTube okay. that tells you how to score hundreds of thousands of points. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> really fun ride. Really fun ride. Uh, you've got the uh, Carousel of Progress, um, which has been there since the beginning of time. Um, I will say, though, uh, only do this if you really want to do this. Because if you decide you don't know what it's about, it's basically like all animatronics and it's how things have progressed throughout the years, which I think is quite interesting. Um, but the thing is, it moves around. So if you get up and decide to leave yeah. in the middle of the show, everyone else has to leave too because it moves around. Oh, so one person can spoil it for the rest of them then? Absolutely. So please, if you are going to do the Carousel of Progress, don't spoil it for everybody else. <laughs> don't get up and leave halfway through. <laughs> Because everyone else will have to leave <laughs> and then start again, which is not very fair. No, so not a bit of advice, all. don't do that. If you don't if you don't feel like you want to see that car- carousel of progress, don't do it. Um, the People Mover. Now, this is a very underrated attraction. Every single YouTube video I've seen, right? Every single one I've seen. All it, Molly at All Ears, AJ at DVFB Food Guys, shout, uh, shout out to you guys. Um, they said the People Mover is amazing. It's a relaxing... Uh, ride like just a ride around Tomorrowland but you also go inside some of the attractions and if you're lucky enough you might get to see Space Mountain with the lights on oh okay yes um, unfortunately it's close to refurbishment at this moment in time but I'm pretty sure it will be refurbished once we go time we get there. but again if you are going in the near future it is close to refurbishment I do apologise but if it is open when you go Go for it. It, it, it. Everyone says it's very underrated. And I never did it. I've never done it before. It's been remember, there I, for ages. I don't remember but doing I, it. I've never done it. So I think I would like to do that. You know, yeah, Everyone, it, yeah, it's we'll a very underrated yeah, ride. We'll, we'll probably do that. Um, the next one you've got on the list is the Astro Orbiters, which is the a little bit like Dumbo, but it's spacey and it's up a little bit higher. And it spins around and it goes up and down and things. You can get quite a good view of things. But I'm not too phased about doing this one. I mean... It's, it's going to be like Dumbo ride, isn't it, really? Yeah, okay. So, um, and you've got the Tomorrowland Speedway, which oh, what's everywhere. That, <laughs> that fast one? No, no. Contrary to popular belief, no. Oh. It is not fast. You're getting these little go karts, and you're like, you've got a little like track here that you can't move off of. It's more for kids. Oh, okay. Like, you go like the slowest ever, and if you drive, like. It, it's not for us then. No, absolutely not. Everyone says it's terrible. Um, but you know, if you if you want if you don't drive and you'd like to experience driving at five miles an hour, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then obviously the, the piece de resistance, the big Space one. Mountain. Please tell me you remember going to Space Mountain. I don't remember going to Space Mountain. No. What? Obviously, I've been on it. It's I, such a memorable ride. I definitely went on it, but I don't remember it. I don't remember it. Oh, it's so good. So good. It's one of the more thrilling attractions in Magic Kingdom. Uh, it's in. It's a dark roller coaster, and uh, you never know when a drop's going to come and everything. Oh, that's why I like it so yeah. much, I think. It doesn't go into upside down, but, you know, it doesn't matter. It's still thrilling. Yeah, so um, that's the attraction. So the dining, you have... Cosmic Craze Starlight Cafe. Now, remember when I said to you about um, the whole uh, thingamajiggy with the other 50s diner in Hollywood Studios where they, if you don't eat your greens, they'll tell you off. Yes, yes, like I remember that. Yeah. I believe, please correct me if I'm wrong, 
uh, I believe they do the same thing in here. So okay. <laughs> it could be quite fun. Um, you've also got Auntie Gravity's Galactic Goodies and another, a Joffrey's another, Coffee. Another one. And also you've got the lunching pad as well, which I believe is doing mobile order at the moment. So uh, yeah, if you are going in the future, that is available. So shops wise, you've got Space Ranger Spin photos. So obviously you go get your ride photos from Space Ranger Spin, but yeah. obviously they do a lot of Toy Story merchandise in there. Uh, Ursa's Major Minor Mart. Again, spa- this is all kind of spacey themed. Uh, Tomorrow- Tomorrowland Light and Power Co., which is all like the light. You know, you see with- you see people with the lights where they have the parade and things like that and they've got all their little light up sticks and things. Yeah, okay, yeah, I think yeah. that's where you get yeah, those from. And Star Traders, which is the main one. So that is Tomorrowland. What are you looking forward to riding most it's on that? Probably Space Mountain. Of course, I thought you might. I must say, I love Space Mountain, but I'm really looking forward to riding a people mover because everyone just keeps saying it's such a good ride. Oh, yeah. Even though it's not fast, it's not thrilling, it's it's just, it's great, it's apparently. Great. Everyone says it's great. So I'm really looking forward to that because okay. I've never been on that. But yeah, um, that's Tomorrowland and we're going to move on to Fantasyland. Fantasyland. This is, um, it's got a lot, it's got a lot of areas within its area. Yeah. It's really weird. Um, they used to have Toontown there. We used to be able to go through Mickey and Minnie's house. We used to get to meet Minnie, get to meet Mickey in that way. We, we did that when I was 12. Um, but they've actually, they've actually changed that now. That It's not Toontown anymore. Um, attractions, you have the Mad Tea Party, which we don't like teacup rides. No. Uh, no we get very one. nauseous on teacup rides, so we will be giving that a... Uh, a big no no but if you like teacup rides go for it Dumbo I think just for nostalgia purposes I'd like to ride the Dumbo what's that one then it's, it's just the Dumbo elephants the flying elephants oh I go, I go yeah yeah, yeah okay. I think for nostalgia purposes yeah, I would I think, like seen, I'd I like to I've ride those yeah uh, you've got the Barnstormer which is a goofy uh, the great Goofini starring the great Goofini it's a kids roller coaster uh, I don't think we will be doing that. To no. be honest, it's very, it's very childlike. Yeah. I've been on it. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's not thrilling in any way, shape, or form. Um, and then you've got the Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, which is a slow ride about going through the Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Self-explanatory. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got the, which is still one of the most popular rides in Magic Kingdom. What's that then? Until Tron comes along. Um, uh, yeah, it's the Seven Dwarves Mine Train, which is another roller coaster. But the mine carts that they swing as you go round. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really. It's, I've never been on it. It's a new. It's a fairly new ride. It's is this, the newest ride. Is this for kids or adults? Then uh, a bit of both. You could do a bit of both. I mean, people people think it's it looks more thrilling than it actually is, but it's a. I I I would say it's a must do if you've never done it before. Yeah. Uh, you've got Under the Sea, The Journey of the Little Mermaid, which is another ride through. It's mainly with Fantasyland, you're finding more. It's like telling the stories of the films. Yeah. Uh, those kind of rides. Uh, you've got Prince Charming's Regal Carousel, which is a carousel ride, which is cute. Um, again, for nostalgia purposes, I'd probably do that. Okay. Well, you know? we'll have a look, can't we? Uh, we've got Phil Our Magic, Mickey's Phil Our Magic, which is a 4D show. And really, I loved it the last time. Um, and I... It's a must do for me. I feel like okay, we we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, it's a must do. Uh, I remember my mum. My mum always said, "Whenever we'd, we'd, I've talked to, to my mum about us going to Orlando a lot, and uh, she says, do you know what I remember in Phil Magic with the cherry pie, the smell of the cherry pie because you could smell it." Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's stuck in her mind, and she was an adult, so yeah. you know, it's stuck in her mind. So yeah, definitely. Uh, and then you've got the most annoying song in the world. It's a small world. <laughs> Is that the one that goes, you're on the water, like a boat? In a boat that? ride, yeah. you yeah. go around, you see all the little figurines. It's a small yeah, yeah. World. It's basically, if you've ever seen Shrek, that little Duloc song, you know, like, welcome to Duloc. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, that was a a, a a parody of It's a Small World. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and then you've got, unfortunately, it is closed at the moment, um, but if you love Belle from Beauty and the Beast... Uh, she does a thing called Enchanted Tales with Belle, okay. uh, but it is closed at the moment. Um, but just, just check that. And also, you have got Peter Pan's Flight as well, which is apparently again for nostalgia. I'd like to do that. I mean, I'd like to do a lot of the rides in Fantasyland just for nostalgia purposes, from what I remember as a child. You know, it doesn't have to be all thrills and spills. No, on your adult on your adults only trip, you can get some nostalgia in there, and you know. 
I don't care if I look. Uh, for, I don't care if we're the only adults on there with no children. I don't. I'm care. sure there'll be more people like us out there. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, so yeah, dining options. You have got a lot because, uh, like I say, that uh, I said before, there's areas within an area. So Toontown went, but the area of uh, Beauty and the Beast, so like France, they did like a, oh, okay. a thing of France with Beauty and the Beast, and they've got the Beast, a replica of the Beast castle. You can't go in it, it's just like a replica thing. Uh, so you've got Gaston's Tavern, which I'm going to look at the menu for this, because I believe there's, there is beer. Oh, okay. <laughs> I believe there is beer. Let me find it. Beer, beer, beer. Yeah. Uh, be, uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, Gaston, Gaston. Looks nice, doesn't it? My water guy like Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got, uh, this isn't alcoholic, uh, but Le Fou's Brew. Frozen apple juice with a hint of toasted marshmallow and topped with all natural passion fruit mango foam. That sounds nice. I don't know, uh, that's non alcoholic, but I'd really like the sound of that. Uh, or freshly brewed Joffrey's coffee. Oh. Could always have Joffrey's coffee. Uh, no, it's not. Doesn't serve alcohol, but they've got warm cinnamon rolls, uh, the grey stuff cupcake, which apparently uh, try the grey stuff. It's mediocre, apparently, um, okay. <laughs> according to my friend. Uh, so yeah, there's 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 a few. I would like to try Le Fou's brew. I think that yeah, sounds really there, really we? yummy. Um, and you've got the Be Our Guest restaurant, and this is another hard reservation to get. Another one, yeah. It's a really hard reservation to get. Um, I know that I've heard very again I've heard very mixed reviews uh, my friends that have been have said it, 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 the food is okay um, but if you do uh, the food's not like perfect but if you love Beauty and the Beast and you want to sit that is the only place that you get to meet Beast it's the only place so if you love Beauty and the Beast and you want to meet those characters you have to go there you have to go to be our guest restaurant so bear that in mind um, apparently the food is not terrible but the food is not stellar. Yeah. So just bear that one in mind. Uh, but it is very hard to get a reservation. So if you are staying on Disney property, make sure you take advantage of that 60 days in advance because we only get, because we're not staying on property, we only get 30 days in advance to book things. Yeah. Um, so make sure you take a full, full advantage of that if you are staying on Disney property to get that to get those hard reservations like Be Our Guest and, um, and the Cinderella's Royal Table if you're wanting to meet characters and stuff. Yeah. So just bear that one in mind. You've got the uh, Pinocchio Village House, Storybook Treats, uh, the Friars Nook, and the two that are closed at the moment, uh, you've got Cheshire Cafe and Big Top... Um, that's Big Top Souvenirs. That's a shop anyway. But that's closed at the moment anyway. So yeah, the shops, uh, Big Top Souvenirs is closed at the moment. You have Sir Mickey's Fantasy Fair. I love the pun for this one from Winnie the Pooh. Hundred Acre Goods. <laughs> I really like that pun, and I would like to go in there just because I love the I love a good pun. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got Bonjour Village Gifts for the in the Beauty in the Beast area. Oh, okay. So that would be really cool. So that is Fantasyland. There's a lot to do in Fantasyland. There's a lot of nostalgic rides, like taking you, even if, or with the kids. The kids will if you've got kids, they'll absolutely love this. Um, but if you're an adult and it will give you so much nostalgia, all these small little attractions that, you know, maybe you've never ridden, but you, you've probably ridden something similar, Yeah. you know, and it's that kind of nostalgia thing. So yeah, we're going to move on to the next part, which is Liberty Square. Liberty Square. This is kind of the American thing, you know, like very, very old time American kind of area. Okay. It's only a small area. Uh, the attractions, you've got the Haunted Mansion. Oh, yes. It's Absolute been, it's, classic. Is this where I've been there from the beginning? Yes. Since the park opened? Yes. Yes. It's still going now. Oh, my God. Absolute classic. You have to ride it. Like, I don't care how old you are. It is a must-do. And they've got so many cool little Easter eggs in the queue line as well. Like, um, there's like uh, who sh there's like a load of statues. And it's like, who shot who? Oh, okay. And who died? Who killed who? And all of this kind of stuff. It's really, really good. If you look at the, de the, the amount of detail that has gone into this attraction, even to this day, is incredible. Mm. It really is. The amount of detail, the amount of Easter eggs that you get, it's just incredible. So, yeah, we so must do yeah, for definitely. us. Um, and then you've got the Liberty Square Riverboat, which is a nice little boat ride on that big you know that one with the big water wheel on the back of it oh yes i think i've seen pictures of that yes, yes. That looks um good. just bear in mind um that when you do get on that boat there is no seating okay so 
comfortably stand. Yep, you stand. Oh, you stand. Or unless, or of course, if you're in a wheelchair. Is of course, this because of COVID or just? No, no, no. It's always been like that. Oh, okay. No, it's always been like that. But people are really surprised when they get on and they can't sit down. Oh. <laughs> so but I think we might do it if we've got time. I think it's a bit. <laughs> we'll see when we get there. Uh, yeah. And then you've got the Hall of Presidents, which they're adding a uh, Joe Biden animatronic to, I believe. Okay. Yes. So is Trump on it then? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, that's my opinion. (laughs) Um, Not toying with your opinion at all. Uh, Yeah, so that's all the attractions you've got there. It's not a a huge area. Um, Dining-wise, you've got the Liberty Square Market. You've got Liberty Tree Tavern. Now, I want to talk about this one. Yeah. Because apparently this is like Thanksgiving all year round. It's like a Thanksgiving buffet. And I've never had Thanksgiving. We don't, we don't, if you are listening to us in the US, we don't have Thanksgiving in the UK. Um, So for us, I think it would be a real treat. Yeah, it'd be a real treat to experience what you, what you guys in the US do for Thanksgiving. Because I know it's a very important holiday for for you. Um, So yeah, I think, I think I'd like to have a sit down meal there. That would be be nice. Um, and then you've got the Sleepy Hollow of Refreshments, which has got some great snacks there. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, at the moment, it is closed. Uh, Columbia Harbour uh, Columbia Harbor House is another restaurant, and I believe it's a sit-down restaurant as well. Yeah. But that, that is closed at the moment. Do check before you go. I always say this every week. Do check before you go what's open and what isn't, you know, because what we say isn't set in stone. Yeah. Again, we're not experts. <laughs> Shops wise, you've got Memento Mori, you've got Liberty Square Parasol Cart, you've got Ye Old Christmas Shop. Christmas which are, shop. Yeah, all year my mum, my yeah, my mum would love a Christmas decoration. She's every time we've been, she's got a Christmas decoration from the year that we've been. So I'm gonna, we're gonna need to get mum one for 2022. Um, and then you've got the Liberty Square Portrait Gallery, which is some really nice art. Okay. So you can buy. So yeah, that is Liberty Square. Again, it is a small area, uh, but a Haunted Mansion is... Yeah, that's, that's d- definitely absolute. must. I even think we should get a fast pass for that one because it is a, it's still, to this day, a really yeah, popular, popular attraction. Wise. Yeah, it really is. Um, so I think we're going to use a secondary fast pass on this because we, we it's a must-do. It's an absolute must-do for us. But again, your plans might be different to ours. You know, you might want to get fast pass for different things you might feel like you know what i don't want to do haunted mansion but we say it's a must do so i think you should do it yeah <laughs> uh so yeah we're going to move on now to uh the next part which is adventureland 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 full of adventure uh attractions here you've got the swiss family treehouse which i believe is like a play area thing i, I don't know if it's a walkthrough or play area but we'll uh, yeah yeah, I don't know. Uh, you've got the Jungle Cruise. Now, the Jungle Cruise is a very popular attraction. It's like a boat ride around with animatronic animals and I things like that. I've seen this on, on one of the YouTube videos, I yeah. think. Um, it is due for a refurbishment because of the film. There's a film coming out. Oh, okay. With, with The Rock in it and things like that. I, I believe it's The Rock that's in the Jungle New Jungle Cruise film. It is due for a, re- a refurb to fit in with that storyline. So it may not be open when we go. It is still currently open at the moment. Um, there's no news, I don't think, of when they might shut this down for refurb or if they're going to do the refurb and keep it open. But just to make you aware, it is due for refurb. Okay. So to, in order to fit in with the movie that's coming out. So... Um, and then you've got the beloved Pirates of the Caribbean. I love this ride. I don't remember this one. No, but I loved it before they added Jack Sparrow in. And then I loved it after they added Jack Sparrow in. And I just love the song. You can't get the song out of your head. It's yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's life for me. <laughs> you can't get it out of your head. It's great. Uh, it's a great attraction. It's a must do for us. Uh, you've got the Enchanted Tiki Room, which is uh, a little show. And they've got animatronic birds that talk. Above you. Oh, okay. Um, people's mixed reviews on this one. Some people say it's great. Some people say it's rubbish. Um, but they apparently they updated it a while ago with Iago from Aladdin, you know, the parrot from Aladdin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Zazu from The Lion King, you know, the bird in The Lion King. Yeah, yeah, I know. About. Um, and apparently it didn't go down very well. So to take them out oh, again. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Enchanted Tiki Room, I think I'd like to do that. I've never done that before. Yeah. I think that might be nice. Uh, the Magic Carpets of Aladdin, which is basically Dumbo in Aladdin form. Okay. But you might get a bit wet because they've got camel spitting water at you. 
Um, nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then you've got the Country Bear Jamboree. Now, I'm not sure if this is open. I did see, I didn't see a wait time for it when I was looking on the app when the park was open. Um, so I don't know if it's open at the moment. Little Country Bear show, old time show. It's been there since the beginning of time. I think be worth, fun. Worth a, little, worth a little go. Be fun, yeah. Um, dining wise, you have the Diamond Horseshoe, which is currently closed at the moment. Not sure when that's going to reopen. Sunshine Tree Terrace, the Jungle Navigation Navigation Coast Skipper Canteen, Aloha Isle, and I'm really gutted about Tortuga Tavern. Ooh. That's closed at the moment. That'd be a good one, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm one. Like it it pirate. Yeah, because of Tortuga yeah. um, Island, uh, Westwood Ho, and Pecos Bill Tortell Inn and Cafe as well. So lots of dining options in Adventureland mm. for you. Shops wise, you've got the La Princesa de Cristal, another crystal shop, crystal shop in the Caribbean Plaza, Plaza de Sol, Carib Bazaar, which is like a little market kind oh, of thing. Okay. Uh, Big Owls, a Frontier Trading Post, Island Supply, sunglasses. That's a sunglasses shop. Sunglass hat. With the really cool yep. Ray Bans. Uh, and Buana Bobs. So lots of shopping, lots of dining, not as many attractions on that one. But the attractions you've got in there, I mean, three of the, uh, four of Five of them have been there since the park. There's still enough to do on that. On that oh, absolutely. Land, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, that's Adventureland. We're going to move on to the final one, which is Frontierland. Okay, Frontierland. So, you have two major attractions yes. here, major thrilling attractions. Uh, but you've also got Tom Sawyer Island, which you get a little raft over and you go and explore, which I never did. I've never done it. It's been there since the beginning of time and I've never done it. Okay. I think I might like to just go and yeah, see that. Well, you know? that. Yeah. Uh, and then you got, of course, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Yes. Oh, baby. The, the nostalgia here and also the thrill factor, absolute must do. Yeah. Uh, and then you have the best one. It's a wet ride, Splash Mountain. Mountain. Now, I have a photo somewhere, and I don't know if I've shown you the photo of me on Splash Mountain no, when I was younger. Bit, no. Yeah, I have a photo. Of, I have a ride photo from Splash Mountain in 96. Oh, 96 okay. when I went. I was very little. Um, and my dad was... Oh, <laughs> my dad, you seen have that seen that one. My dad, when my dad's yeah, in sorry. it, and then my brother's in the front. Yeah, I have uh, seen that. Yeah, um, bear in mind, though, I hate to break it to you. It might not be open when we go because what? this is another ride that is due for a refurb. Oh. Because they want to get away from Song of the South because obviously it's extremely racist. Yes. Um, they want to get away from Song of the South, which is what the the ride was originally based on. They're going to retheme it to, I don't think you've ever seen this one, um, The Princess and the Frog. I've heard of it. I've never seen yeah, it. Yeah, with I've Tiana. Tiana in the, in the 1920s and she turns into a frog. I've, uh, I've, yeah. I've heard yeah, of it. Yeah, really, good, not, fil- really good film. I loved it. And the songs are great. If you love jazz, the songs are great. Um, so yeah, that's due for a princess and a frog refurb. So I'm really looking forward to that refurb actually because I think it would be so much more purposeful. Just hope it's open before we get there. I hope, it, I hope it's either had the refurb or it's not had the refurb yet and it's not due for the refurb okay. until after we've left. Um, no dining in Frontierland. Oh. No dining because you've got obviously got the big two, two big, last big attractions big, yeah. uh, shops you've got splashdown photos which is the only only shop there but that's for your splash mountain photos yeah. uh yeah so that is magic kingdom and i got we got through that a lot quicker than i thought yes, we, we was going to what are you looking forward to i think me obviously the, the two of them really it'd be space mountain mm-hmm. and big thunder mountain not splash mountain uh I am looking forward to Splash Mountain. You just, love a wet ride. I do love a wet ride, but I'm just hoping I'm just hoping it'd be open when we get there. Yeah. So, yeah. but I think I do remember Big Thunder Mountain when I was younger. So that's probably why. Any dining you think you think you'd like uh, after what we what we spoke about? I don't know. It'd probably be. I'm looking forward to the Liberty Tree Tavern. I'd like to have a sit down yeah, there. Yeah, maybe. The, the yeah. Thanksgiving, just for the Thanksgiving experience. The Thanksgiving experience, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, probably that one. Yeah, yeah, I assume, and yeah. Uh, I would have said be our guest restaurant, but I, I just can't justify trying to get a reservation for that um, in that in that way. Uh, a cosmic ray starlight cafe, maybe as well. Gaston's tavern for a snack, definitely. Yeah. For the Lafou's brew. And obviously uh, Joffrey's coffee. Oh, yep, yeah, you've got to have a Joffrey's <laughs> coffee. <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of Magic Kingdom episode. Lots to do there, isn't There's there? There's so much, and I mean. Even as an adults only trip, I think a lot that's going to be a very nostalgic day for us. And we are actually going to do a full day at Magic Kingdom breakfast, lunch, dinner, 
right to the fire because hopefully the fireworks, the fireworks. parades will be back by then because I believe that Magic Kingdom has the best fireworks out of all the parks. Yeah. You know? Um, and I, obviously I'm really looking forward to Fantasmic at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I am really looking forward to that. But I just, I just, I remember seeing Wishes. I know Wishes isn't around anymore um, when I was 17 and I cried. Oh, really? Yeah, it was... There was fireworks. Tinkerbell was flying <laughs> towards the castle. Uh, it was, uh, uh, Amazing. It was incredible. And uh, and the parades are great as well. Uh, must You must see a parade. We, I'm really hoping the parades return from when we go. Yeah. Because it'd be a nice change of pace just to sit and watch a parade. Yeah. For a little while. Yeah, you I know? agree. But if not, they have the cavalcades of characters that come around so we can have a wave to people. If not, there's enough there to do. Yeah, so. absolutely. So... We are doing next week, we're starting with one of two of Disney water parks, Blizzard the Beach. Beach. Now, I don't think you went. I did, did go there. You did. I Do did. you remember it? I don't remember it, but I, I think it was quite brand new when we went there. When did, yeah, that, when did yeah, it open? In the early 90s, I believe. So, yeah, yeah it would have been the last first time, time I went. Last time I went was 99, so it was well, not new. No, it, it just, wasn't new in 99. It was I've, been there for ages. Um, but yeah, Blizzard Beach, we're looking forward to... We, uh, you love a wet ride. You love a water slide. I love, I love a water yeah, park in Yeah, general. so I think you're going to really enjoy this one. Probably won't be as long an episode next week, but we want to get a full episode for Blizzard Beach and a full episode of Typhoon Lagoon before yeah. we move on to Universal so. Studios or Universal Resort in general. Um, we are going to do episodes on Disney Springs and City Walk as well. Um, but I believe because that's like a dining thing or shopping thing, I think I believe we need to do that separately. Yeah, you know? I agree. So, and we've got so many more attractions coming up for you as well. We've got uh, Bush Gardens, we have Sea World, we have Discovery Cove. Even though we're not going to some of these places, we're not going to Bush Gardens. Um, we are going to Sea World though. We are definitely going to Sea World. Absolutely, we are going to Sea World. Uh, we're not going to Discovery Cove, but I have been there, so I do have some experience on okay. that. Um, and I believe if you've never swam with dolphins, I believe you absolutely should do Discovery. Cove. but yeah anyway um yeah so thank you for joining us again uh, don't forget to check out um our youtube channel uh, and check out our thought part video i do apologize for the editing it will be better for the chessington one uh, <laughs> it will be i mean i'm a newbie at editing i'm really trying here uh so yeah it's it's gonna be it's gonna be great uh we'll we'll get hopefully i'll be able to get the chessington video up at some point by the end of the end of the week yeah. um but i will let you know i will always keep you posted on the facebook page so make sure you're like you've liked and followed us on facebook as well um and on twitter as well follow us on twitter because i always put every update uh we always put every update yeah we on do twitter yeah. every yeah. week so well, you, you, you do <laughs> 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 but you you're getting there you're yeah, getting there I'm with it you're getting there and you're absolutely loving it aren't you darling i am loving it so yeah as i say thanks for joining us and don't ever forget get, get excited, excited the magic rolls around fast, fast.